Hello, welcome. Today we're going to make decoupage candle holders. Decoupage is a fun craft. I'm sure you've, you've maybe you've done that in school or at home before, but today we're making candle holders. And because we want light to shine through the paper or other material we're going to put on top of our, our candle holders, you have to be able to see light through it. So you can't use pictures like mag from a magazine or photos or things like that. You need to, to be able to see some light through them. So um, <laughs> my very favorite decoupage paper, type of paper, is tissue paper. Because tissue paper is so very fine and thin, you can't see light through it. You can just hold it up and you can see that you can see the light through it. So candlelight will shine through as well. But I wanted it to be maybe a little more interesting than just plain old tissue paper. Paper Maybe people don't have fancy tissue paper at home. So I, I was looking around my kitchen, and I have lots of fancy napkins. Now maybe your family has some fancy napkins left over from a party or a holiday. Well, you can take those fancy napkins. This one happens to have tulips on it. It was a spring napkin. Some, some of them are ho for holidays. You can make a holiday candle holder. But... Um, it's not it's late spring, but I'm going to make it the spring one. Today I, I like the tulips. But when you use the napkin, it has two parts to it. If they call it two ply, and that means it's double thick. There's a um sometimes there are even three layers, but this one has two layers. It has that pretty layer with the print on it, and then it has another layer, and the reason there's two is just so it absorbs more when it has to, to catch a spill or something, but you need to take it apart so that you're only going to use the picture um, on, the, on a thin piece, not a double piece. So I took one of these napkins with gorgeous tulips and leaves on it, and I cut out some of the, the flowers. So I just cut them into individual flowers. I love flowers, by the way. That's why I chose flowers. <clears throat> and we're going to use these parts of the napkin, these flowers, and the tissue paper to make a candle holder. Then we'll try another, another type after this one's all finished. <clears throat> so to do decoupage, the things you will need, um, you will need a jar, an empty clear glass jar. Mine are from Jellies. I like the size. You could make it bigger or even smaller, whatever you'd like. You could even use a glass that you drink out of um, and decorate it. <clears throat> but so we're gonna need a jelly jar. We're gonna need, need white glue, like Elmer's glue is the most famous, but this is from Stop and Shop. They also have white glue. You can buy it just about anywhere. A little bit of water, a mixing bowl, a paintbrush, and the tissue paper or the, the napkins or something else. We're going to do something else a little bit later. So let's st start. I'll take, I actually have two jelly jars. We'll start with this jelly jar. When you make decoupage from white glue, if you're not using special decoupage that you buy in a jar like at Michael's, that's called Mod Podge. If you make your own, you take white glue from the store, squeeze it in. It's kind of thick. And that's thick when you're gluing things at school or at home or fixing things. But when you make do decoupage, you have to add a little bit of water and stir it around so it makes kind of like, hmm, uh, it's thicker than milk, kind of like pudding, I guess. And it doesn't look too thick and too sticky, but it is sticky. So you'll take that, this is your made at home decoupage, okay, and you will begin covering very thin coat, that's important, very thin coat of glue. Decoupage is the craft. This is just the ingredients we're using are glue. So we're not gonna do the whole jar at one time, but I covered that side. And on that side, I'll take one of my tulips. I think I'll put it at an angle. Oh, that's pretty, isn't that pretty? Pretty. Maybe another little tulip. I'll just add some more glue. Put it here. Another little one. I'm going to make mine all go like up like they're growing. But if you use different shapes, you can put them upside down, sideways, all around. And then kind of to tie together, 
to put together my my tulips I'm going to put some tissue paper as well which will add some nice color so I'm going to put just some blotches of tissue here and there <laughs> they stick to your finger <laughs> believe me you're going to have everything stuck to your finger as you're doing it but that's part of the fun and one thing I I forgot to tell you to bring with you or be sure you have is some paper towels because you will get sticky now because these pieces of um, tissue paper and the napkin they're very very fine um, they're a little tricky to work with but they're great because you'll be able to see through them so as you're adding glue you're going to now we, we put the base layer now we're going to put a very thin coat on top of the papers we put on the jar and that will kind of make it all stick down really extra well. Um, it'll blend them all together and it's going to make a nice firm seal so that when it's all done, they won't come off. Now it's not all done by any means. It's just started and it's white, isn't it? Because it's white glue that we're using. But when it dries, the white glue dries clear so you'll be able to, see, you won't see the white parts, you'll only see the pretty colors. So I'm gonna work my way around my, my jar with my tulips, and I'm going to add some more tissue, some more tulips, but I'm gonna finish that later, okay? Because I wanted to share with you another thing we could do today that's kind of like the tulips, but it's using real flowers, real flower petals. So I went outside in my garden and walked along <clears throat> around and I found some blooming flowers today. You might have to go to a neighbor's house, ask their permission if you take any of their, their petals from their flowers. But I found some evening primroses, they're beautiful yellow. They're blooming today. My roses are blooming. That's a beautiful, real, real, that's a real rose petal. It smells so pretty. This is from a type of little geranium that I have. So I thought these colors all went pretty well. Oh, and this is a little one more I found outside. It's a little pansy flower. So you don't wanna pick flowers that have big, big petals if you have a small jar. Now, if you're doing a vase or something bigger and, and you're using decoupage, you could use bigger bigger petals. And this is even, this, this first petal I tried was even kind of large. So look, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with the coat of glue. I have a second jar, my second jelly jar. And I'm going to try putting real petals on it. Now real petals, are some of them are strong, like the rose petals, very strong. Some are very, very delicate. These little yellow ones are very delicate. You, they may get a hole in them as you're, you're doing your you're gluing, but that's okay because they'll still look very pretty. This one, I think I'm going to, well, if you try to put the whole flower, it might not work because they have that big bumpy part in the middle. So I'm just sticking with petals. First I was going to do the whole flower and then I remembered there are all those bumpy parts in the middle. Now these, I'm going to have them go different ways, some sideways. And, and after I've decided where I'd like them to be, I will once again put a top very carefully. If your brush is hard, they may tear a little, and that's okay, but just work with them very, very gently, very gently, so they don't tear. Now the glue looks a little globby, but that's okay. It's going to dry. And after it's dry, we'll look at it again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop for a moment. I'm going to finish gluing all the way around my petal, my petal jar, and all the way around my napkin and tissue paper jar. And then because today's a sunny day, I'm going to put them outside on my porch to dry. And when I come back, we're going to see how they look. This is something else you might like. If you have these little tea lights at your house that run by battery, it's a very, very safe way to 
to make a candle holder and be able to do it yourself. Or if you're with an adult, maybe you want to try a real candle, but only, only with an adult's help. So decoupage is really easy. It is really fun. You, your imagination can soar the types of things. If you don't, if you don't care, if you can see through something, if it's not going to be a candle holder or something you want to see light through, you could cover up. Here's a very, very big box, but you could cover a box. You could use magazine pictures, put the glue down, put the picture, put the glue on top, and then you can have a box that's really special for you. So, yeah, so the sky's the limit with the decoupage, but today we're doing candle holders. So I'll see you in a bit after my candle holders are finished and dry. Hi, I've gathered my two candle holders from my porch. I had them sitting in the sun and can you believe they were dry in just one hour. They're dry to the touch. They're all ready to go. We're going to try them out with a candle. But I want to tell you a couple other important things. As I was working on and finishing up um, my decoupage, I decided I didn't really like the, the, the bumps on the top of the jar where the, um, the top screws on. So I put some glue there and covered it with a piece of tissue as well. So it looks kind of more decorative that way. And also, these cannot be put in the dishwasher. They cannot be washed because this glue will dissolve. If you did this to something like a um, drinking glass or a vase or something you might want to wash, uh, your parent would have to spray it with something called a sealer that would keep um, keep it from dissolving. <laughs> the glue will dissolve in water, but I'm never going to put my candle holders in water, so that's just fine. So let's try them out, okay? All right, there's one. And I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see it better just a moment. I brought a special dark light box for you to see. Ready? One, two, three. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? And you made them yourself. Well, I made these myself, but you could make them yourself as well. So I hope you give it a try. Uh, you can try decoupage in different ways. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.